Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into today's video. If you've looked at the stock market recently, you should know that the S&P 500 has accomplished something that it hasn't done since 1970. This would be that they have risen 14 out of the last 15 weeks, but that's not all. Considering that all three major indexes, which would include the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones, are coming off of a five straight trading day win streak thanks to strong earnings and optimism in the economy. This optimism has even rubbed off in cryptocurrencies considering that Bitcoin is currently trading for around $48,000, indicating that they have recently surged by around 14.64%, so this is great news in general for investors of all types. A lot of this optimism is coming from the approaching CPI report for January, and these results will be released on Tuesday. The CPI is an inflation report, which will be released on Tuesday morning, and by the time you're watching this video, it probably has already been released, and this will reflect either positively or negatively in the general market. Currently, we are expecting headlines for inflation to be around 2.9%, which would be a significant decrease from December's numbers, considering that December's CPI data was around 3.4% according to Bloomberg. Now, if this 2.9% metric holds true, this would be the lowest annual inflation rate in about three years. And ideally, this would reflect very positively on the general stock market, so please brace yourself. Many investors use CPI data, however, the Federal Reserve actually has a preferred inflationary gauge, which would be the PCE price index. Because we have to remember, the Federal Reserve is the one in control of increasing or decreasing interest rates. And when the core PCE price index is released and it comes in below 2%, at least on a six-month annualized basis, this will increase the hopes that the Federal Reserve will begin to cut interest rates, which would increase the overall stock market. So it's going to be a great time to be an investor. So please keep your eye on this regarding two upcoming catalysts, because again, we have the CPI data, which will be released on Tuesday, and then later on, we are going to have the PCE data, and that will determine what the stock market will do, depending on what the Federal Reserve decides to do with their interest rates. Next, let's move into talking about singular stock news regarding artificial intelligence news updates and the best AI stocks to buy right now, which would include Super Microcomputer. Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI, has been climbing in their share price recently and they have been one of the, the best AI stocks to hold in your portfolio. They are currently up by around 4.42% and analysts believe there is further upside left in this company. As an example, one analyst maintained an outperform rating for this stock and he raised the firm's one-year price target from $625 per share up to $925 per share, which is fantastic news for investors. SMCI stock currently trades for around $773 per share, which would mean considering this new price target, investors could make approximately 20% over the next next year, and honestly, that is a very strong return. If you didn't know, Super Microcomputer provides high-performance servers and storage solutions. And because artificial intelligence is the new thing, this has increased the demand for Super Microcomputer's overall products. This is the main reason why the business has seen a huge surge in demand for their technology, and I anticipate that there is still further upside left in this company, and here's why. The stock price of this company is already up massively, and I anticipate that the momentum will continue, considering that the stock price is currently up 759% over just the last year, which is phenomenal news. Now, clearly past performance does not dictate future performance, so it is hard to predict exactly where this company will be in the future. However, their long-term growth trajectory does look extremely bright, which is why investors need to be aware of this company. I've held this company in my portfolio for quite a while now, and I think for risk-tolerant investors looking for a long-term growth play in the artificial intelligence space, then this is a company that you should look into. But Super Microcomputer is not the only company that we are seeing increase in their share price, because we also see Waste Management, ticker symbol WM, also increasing in their share price by around 4.4%, which is a company that I personally own in my portfolio. Waste Management is a trash collection company, and they recently reported a profit which beat analysts estimates which is great news from an investor standpoint. The company brought in an adjusted earnings per share of $1.74 which beat Wall Street estimates of $1.53 per share which is great news. 
On top of that, the revenue rose by 5.7% from a year earlier, to where they brought in $5.22 billion in the three-month period ended on December 31st. And in general, their revenue came in directly in line with Wall Street projections. In my opinion, this is a phenomenal company to hold in your portfolio because it adds stability. We even got a very bullish statement from the president and chief executive of Waste Management, where he says, and I quote, In 2024, we anticipate our financial performance to be driven by disciplined pricing, enhanced operational efficiencies, prudent cost management, and contributions from our investments in our recycling and our renewable energy businesses, end quote. I can't reiterate enough how great this company truly is, and if you don't already hold this company in your portfolio, I would highly encourage you to look further into this company and comment your thoughts about them down below. But the good news doesn't stop there because we also have Sun Power, which has recently surged in their overall share price by 14.6%, ticker symbol SPW. Are. This company is currently trading for just $4.16, and a lot of investors seem to gravitate towards this company. Clearly, this is a solar and renewable energy company, which has recently surged in their share price. To add context to this, this company has surged by nearly 30% ever since Enphase Energy, ticker symbol ENPH, which I personally am a fan of and I own in my portfolio, said last week that it expected inventory levels will normalize, and demand for solar products will begin to rebound by the end of Q2. Naturally, this invigorated investors to buy heavily into renewable energy stocks and solar companies. This is why you can see on screen that solar companies in particular have been surging in their share prices. Likewise, renewable energy and alternative clean energy names have also been increasing very dramatically in their general share price. This is the type of news that investors really need to take advantage of, because we are seeing a whole section of the market increase, and you would be wise to invest into at least a few of these company names on screen. A few companies that interest me would include Enphase, Bloom Energy, Next Era Partners, Plug Power, as well as Sunrun. But always remember to do your own research, because although some of these companies would be great for me, they may not be great for you, so again, always make sure to do your own research. And personally, I am not a fan of Sun Power, like many other investors, so that's why I would always encourage you to look further in these companies and not just follow the hype. Next up, we have a negative news story, which is one of the only negative ones in today's news update updates, and that would include ticker symbol ANET. Recently, Arista Networks dropped by around 4% in their share price, and if you're not familiar with this company, they are a networking equipment company. Arista is not a bad company by any means, and they also supply networking equipment to companies like Meta Platforms, which again is one of my favorite companies. On top of that, the company announced that their earnings per share could come in at around $2.08 per share on $1.54 billion worth of revenue, which would destroy analysts estimates. As of right now, analysts expect this company to earn around $1.71 per share and not $2.08 per share. So if Arista could actually bring in $2.08 per share, this would be a huge earnings beat, thus invigorating their overall share price. But despite the good news of their revenue projections, meeting expectations, and their adjusted earnings per share of $2.08, which should dominate analysts' projections of $1.71, the share price still fell. What's also interesting is that other networking equipment makers such as Cisco and Juniper Networks have also fallen in their share price during after hours. So there is clearly something happening here, but in general, I think this is overblown. Arista Networks is still a solid company, and I think their future projections are actually pretty strong, but I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. In more exciting news, we have Datadog in the news, ticker symbol DDOG, and I really like this company. This company is set to release their fourth quarter earnings results on Tuesday, February 13th, and if you're watching this video on a Tuesday, February 13th, let's see how my predictions actually pan out. As of right now, I think they will beat on both their earnings and revenue. Analysts currently expect a year-over-year -year increase in both the top and bottom lines, referring to the revenue and earnings per share, with their earnings per share coming in at $0.44 cents on revenues of $568.82 million. However, like I said, I believe that the cloud software provider will actually exceed these expectations, which should increase their share price. I am of the opinion that there is solid upside potential left in Datadog stock, and I think their fourth quarter earnings results will bring this out, causing their share price to absolutely surge. According to Morgan Stanley, they believe, and I quote, We expect a solid quarter four with revenue growth likely in the mid-20% range based on solid checks and recent hyperscaler results. 
But even if Datadog's share price does not surge after their earnings report, Datadog has an upcoming catalyst in the form of their first ever investor day, which they will host on February 15th. Now, I don't actually like how these catalysts are so close together. I wish that they would have picked another day for their first ever analyst day, but what can you do? Overall, I think both of these will act as positive catalysts for this company, and I'd love to hear whether or not you hold this company in your portfolio. Next up, we have Intel stock in the news, and they have been rallying recently. Intel, ticker symbol INTC, has been on many investors' minds lately, and here's why. Recently, this semiconductor's share price has increased due to very positive comments from Wall Street analysts regarding the general chip industry. Analysts are now saying that they wouldn't be surprised if Intel Foundry Services emerged in the mix as a potential alternative to Foundry Leader Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing to create these customer processors. If this were to happen where Intel will take away market share from Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, this will invigorate their overall share price, so investors need to pay attention. We have to remember that artificial intelligence is the new gold rush. However, once this phase of the gold rush ends, a new one will begin in regards to artificial intelligence, and here's what I mean. According to the article, it states that the first wave of AI chips has primarily been focused on computing performance, but some users are beginning to consider the costs. The next wave of innovation, which is the one we're going to be focusing on, will likely have an emphasis on power consumption and optimization, potentially lowering the cost of AI and putting it within reach of businesses with more modest budgets. And this is where Intel comes in, considering that they want to expand their foundry business. They even have plans to, quote, become the world's second largest foundry by 2030. And if they were to achieve this or even get close, their share price would skyrocket from their current metrics. That's why I think investors really need to be paying attention to Intel stock as well as AMD. However, that would be another story, but I would love to hear your thoughts about Intel down below. Next up, we have Shopify, which will also release their quarter four earnings on Tuesday, just like Datadog. Shopify, ticker symbol SHOP, is a phenomenal e-commerce company. And despite the company having two rounds of layoffs, which affected 30% of their staff, the company has been rebounding very nicely. These layoffs have actually helped Shopify in a plethora of ways, putting them on a better footing in the latter half of the year and well into 2024. And analysts are really excited about this. Last month, a Loop Capital analyst increased his price target for Shopify from $75 up to $82. However, the news gets even better. According to an analyst at CIBC, they actually increased their price target from $82 up to $100 per share. And here's what he had to say about it. He said that our view is that a streamlined Shopify is again poised to overachieve fact set expectations, and it remains our top pick for 2024. This is a very large compliment to Shopify considering that they are a top pick according to this analyst and that's why this analyst has an outperform rating on this company. Now clearly the analyst that we just quoted believes that they will beat on their overall estimates and expectations and that's why he increased their price target but only time will tell. However I personally would agree with this analyst. We also have VF Corp back in the news today and honestly I'm not a huge fan of this company but the reason why they're in the news is because their share price recently jumped by 15% up to $17.50. 58 cents, despite negative headlines coming out about this company recently. If you didn't know, VF Corp owns multiple clothing brands, including the North Face. Vans, and Timberlands, just to name a few. And recently, the company's share price jumped by 15%, which put them on pace for their largest increase since December 7th of 1973. And investors believe that there is further upside left in this company. However, I personally am skeptical. Investors are really excited because a chief executive officer within the company, who is the CEO, recently purchased 65,360 shares of this company, and now he owns approximately 144,200 281 shares. Now, I am not as impressed with this as other investors. However, it is good to see insiders buying up the company's shares. The reason why I'm not overly excited about this company is that over the last 12 months, VF stock, including its recent gains, has fallen by around 35%. The CEO has even called the recent results disappointing, but he does remain optimistic for the future of this company. According to a recent press release, VF has initiated an in-depth strategic review of the brand assets with in the portfolio in alignment with the board of directors to ensure the company owns the brands that it believes create the greatest long-term value, end quote. 
So essentially, they're doubling down on the brands such as Vans, Timberlands, and the North Face so they can make more revenue and profits over the long term. Clearly, I do think this is a positive development, but I don't know what the future of this company is going to look like. So in the meantime, I am just going to be a spectator in regards to this stock. But tell me down below if you own this company in your portfolio. Last but not least, let's round out the video talking about earnings reports which will come out on Tuesday that investors need to pay attention to, because this would include companies like Airbnb, Upstart Holdings, Stag Industrial, American International Group, and Zillow Group. Clearly, I personally will be focusing on Airbnb and Stag Industrial, however, the others may also make it in tomorrow's news updates. So with that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.